March 11, 2021, the Honorable Priya Manikchand, Minister of Education, announced that the National Grade 6 assessment will be conducted on August 4 and 5. With 14,300 students already registered for the exam, the Ministry has adopted a proactive approach in ensuring both students and teachers are prepared for these examinations. The Minister stressed that the decision was an informed one and promised the Ministry's commitment to ensure parents and teachers alike receive the requisite support during these challenging times. 2021 NGSA will be written on August 4th and 5th, 2021. Candidates will write papers 1 and 2. There will be two mock examinations administered leading up to the official examination dates. We and the Ministry of Education will not leave our students and teachers alone during this process. We understand that we are living in different times and we need to support our learners, teachers and parents as much as possible to ensure students remain in school and education is delivered effectively. As of August 2020, the Ministry of Education adopted several approaches to address these needs as best we could. As we remain proactive, after repeated consultations with teachers, parents and students countrywide beginning as early as the week after I entered office, with the most recent consultation being this morning, the Ministry has yet again adopted measures, this time to ensure the safe and effective sitting of the 2021 National Grade 6 Assessment. You would recall the NGSA is a placement exam. The Ministry's plan is to implement a well-thought-out strategy that includes the distribution of a consolidated curriculum about which teachers will be trained immediately or have already been trained to prepare students to write the NGSA to be effectively placed in secondary schools. The Consolidated Curriculum the consolidated curriculum intends to ensure equity and equality in our education system. The curriculum is a resource document for grade 6 teachers. It is extracted from the existing curriculum and does not introduce any new concepts. It is crafted by experts including international consultants and officers at the National Center for Educational Resource, Resource Development, NSERD, right here. It distills the core skills and competencies appropriate for learners at the grade 5 level. The document reflects the spiraling nature of our curriculum. This means that many concepts were repeated in the existing curriculum for constant practice, which progresses further into grade specific and appropriate treatment of topics. It must be noted that the extracted content has not been dismissed or dropped. The benefit of the spiral curriculum is that those concepts would have already been covered or will be covered when learners move into secondary school or during their secondary level preparatory term of grade 6. Coming out of the consolidation process too is that to some degree related concepts were reorganized to allow them to appear together which would make it easier for the students to grasp what is being taught. Additionally, worksheets continue to be distributed to students across the country. Books, past papers, worksheets, and other resource materials are available on the ministry's website at, that can be downloaded and used by our learners and teachers and parents. Additionally, the Guyana Learning Channel will be airing revision exercises in the evenings according to a timetable schedule to be published soonest. On the Guyana Ministry of Education's website, it wasn't an accident that I went through actually calling out the website. We have created a special tab that says NGSA 2021. Very user-friendly, very organized. If you go to that tab, you'll then see, and you go into that um, thing, you'll see science, social studies, math, English. And under each of those, you'll see all the resources that we have given to our public school students, except those that are copyright protected. Support to teachers. The teachers are going to have more resources now than they have ever had before in terms of textbooks and um, resources for students. So 
something as small as the science notes and social studies notes. A teacher doesn't have to create those anymore and call it out in front of the classroom and wait until our children write. Each child has it in their possession. Each teacher has the notes in their possession. Teachers wouldn't have to do schemes of work because the consolidated curriculum is designed in such a way that it removes all of that from the burden from the teacher. Of course, the professionals will tell you good teachers will still plan their lessons, but um, I, I think in, this is the time teachers will be supported this year more than ever before. Care packages. Each grade six student will receive a care package from the Ministry of Education containing several learning resources to help them prepare for the NGSA 2021. This package will contain social studies notes, science notes, worksheets, and for each of the 20 weeks for mathematics, English, social studies, science, NGSA past papers, and NGSA past papers from the last five years. The Honourable Minister further noted that by working in close collaboration with the Ministry of Health and other partners, education officials are monitoring the school reopening process. However, the Ministry has adopted innovative ways to confront the many challenges. Any reopening of schools at any level or all levels will depend strictly on what we're told by the Ministry of Health. Um, the consideration is still on the table, as you know, there can be no learning teaching process that would match face-to-face -face instruction with a trained teacher in front of the classroom. We have done a whole host of things, as you've heard, the learning channel worksheets, online teaching, radio, um, that, that substitutes a trained teacher delivering education. But we did that as a substitute because we cannot go back into the classrooms they do not have the same value as face-to-face -face teaching. We have been advised by teachers and our own experiences, as well as reports from around the world and studies that have looked specifically at this issue. So to answer you clearly, we would like to get back into the classroom, not just the Ministry of Education. Teachers are begging us to go back into the classroom um, en masse, not one or two, not a an ad hoc story here or there, large numbers of teachers want to go back into the classroom. Parents are asking us. But we have, we are in a pandemic and that has specific considerations. And so we can't go back into the classroom until we are so advised by the Ministry of Health. And they would know that based on the information they have regarding community spread, safety issues and so on. According to Minister Manichand, the decision to conduct the assessment was not an easy one, taking into consideration the prevailing pandemic. However, it was agreed upon following due consultation with a broad stakeholders group. The decision also took into account the length of time our students have been absent from the classroom setting. And we had very many options. That's for teachers. We met teachers, parents and students. And on the table were several options over the last six months, including using the grades two and four examination results to place students, because it's a placement exam. We don't have, nobody fails the NGSA, you know, it's a placement exam. Then, so that was an option. Writing only paper one was an option. That's the multiple choice. Writing Paper one and two up to a grade six level was an option. Writing paper one and two up to a grade five level was an option. Doing projects was an option. And by far, in the majority, all across the different um, stakeholder groups, parents and um, teachers, the majority decision was that the preference was to have an exam. People felt that would be the fairest thing to do and that it be both papers one and two, multiple choice as well as the long answer, up to the grade five level, given that we have been out of school for a year um, and will probably be out a little bit longer. So what informed our decision was really what the people of this cohort wanted. All the research in the world says that the more we keep our children out of schools, 
And the more we keep them disengaged, the more likely we are to lose them to the education system. And that would be a travesty of um, unmeasurable, immeasurable proportions. Right now in New York, at the headquarters of the UN, UNICEF has mounted a monument of 168 desks and benches with 168 backpacks, or what we call book bags, in the um, in the open to represent the 168 million children who are out of school and the worry that causes the, us as a world, given what the consequences could be. So the president was very clear. We need to keep our children engaged. We need to, we're not the wealthiest country, so we need to make sure we watch our costs, but no cost should be spared to make sure we don't have the long lasting. And like I said, if we think this is expensive, if these kids drop out of school, you'll understand what expensive means about how much it will cost our country in every sphere, health-wise, educationally, productivity, and in every other way. Minister Manichand further stated that the NGSA remains a placement exam, and therefore those parents who are uncomfortable with the decision to have their children return to the classroom setting will have other options available to suit their needs, albeit unfortunate in some instances. There's always an option for us to place students who did not write the exam for whatever reason. Um, they got sick on the day or sick on one of the days. They had a family tragedy. And in this year, there will be an option specifically for students to opt out of the exam, but they will be placed according to our policy for placement, which is to give the student the national average in the region. That's how we do it. We, you won't get um, great marks for an exam you didn't sit, but you'll be given the national average and where that places you, it places you. So if parents are opting out, that will be one of the unfortunate consequences. But yes, there will be space for that. The minister concluded that while we are living in extraordinary circumstances, it will require a collaborative effort to get through this period together. Following that conference, we took our cameras to the streets to get a sense of how parents feel about their children attending school when it reopens or to sit the examinations. Here are a few thoughts of those open to the question. Yes, I feel good about it because the market can sit, pick up back. A lot of people come out, a lot of children get, get back in education, right? And much, much more things are very glad about it. Sure. Yes, and every waiting coming in trends and I, and I have one with me going to the river and come, but not too far out the river. I got you for the time till school open. I'm very glad school open so you can take your education in school. I think being open in school in this pandemic would be very frustrating for most of the students, um, given the fact that a mask has to be utilized and students have to now adapt to this new norm. They can also provide um, like semi breaks, right? During the, um, the teaching process, whereby students can be allowed to, you know, um, distance themselves and go take some um, fresh air and these other things. So in that um, case or way, they would be able to revive themselves. That's the only way I think out of this. I feel comfortable about it, which and I'm glad the school could open back, yes, but then again, you're checking on the... What more you think should be done by the ministry? Well, that's a hard question, actually. Yeah, I would say it no, because when all the students come back to school, it'll be clustered and we won't be comfortable. Honestly, I'd... they should keep it close. I mean, the students could stay to online schooling until the COVID-19 cases go down. Well, yeah, when, I, when um, school was closed, it was, it was a little bit challenging. But honestly, for the sake of COVID-19, they should keep it closed. I think it's very difficult because the absence of the face-to-face -face connection between the teachers and students is kind of disrupting, disrupting the way the students would understand their the curriculum. And um, the fact that we are separated by the computer screen it's, it's not giving the children this type of self-esteem to be able to communicate effectively with the teacher. So it's kind of immensely um, in, interrupting their, their type of learning. 
I think if the ministry um, incorporates shift system to get all the grades involved in some amount of face-to-face -face learning, that would be an e effective step into helping them. Well, if, like I suggested, if they do it in the shift system, then yes, but they, they can't like do it for every, every school where they have every grade coming at one time. It's going to have too much um, kind of uh, crowding. And so then the virus will spread. But if they incorporate the shift system, then I think this is a good step forward. Well, I'm writing Mass for CSEC this year, and um, we, we go to Queens College at this point to write our end of term exams. We have incorporated face-to-face -face learning for most of the time, but we were at school at some point in time to complete SBAs. And I think this is an effective strategy in helping me to grasp the concept. Thank you very much. Yes, it is understood the COVID-19 pandemic has brought with it interruptions to everyday life. But as posited by the minister, we have to find a way to move forward or the price will be greater. All that is required is that combined effort. That will not match a trained teacher in front of the classroom. This is us doing the best we can do. We require teachers to be their best self at this point and parents to be their best self at this point. And we hope that that engagement is something that, keep that keeps children occupied we could tell you standing here that it will never be the same as having children in the classroom from 8.30 to 3.30 in the afternoon, but it's the best we can do at this point.